to Kyle. Amash, Amash, Ukmis, Yaya, Akasta, Hakanaktin, Squish, Onumps, Chalap, Ukmis, Yaya. We now recognize that it was wrong to separate children from rich and vibrant cultures and traditions, that it created a void in many lives and communities, and we apologize for having done this. We have now recognized in separating children from their families, we undermine the ability of many to adequately parent their own children and sow the seeds for generations to follow. We apologize for having done this. We now recognize that far too often these institutions gave rise to abuse or neglect and were inadequately controlled. And we apologize for failing to protect you. Not only did you suffer these abuses as children, but as you became parents, you were powerless to protect your own children from the suffering from the same experiences. And for this, we are sorry. The burden of this experience has been on your shoulders for far too long. The burden is probably ours as a government, as a country. This is a section from the apology from the Prime Minister. I used this in my affidavit when we went before the courts. If they were sincere about this apology, we wouldn't have to be going to court to seek redress for the day scholars who are left out of the process altogether. with Kamloops to actually champion this cause because uh, every community meeting we go to, our community want to know what's happening to the day scholars who are left out of the process and we gave them our word that we would try to see this right to the end to seek that justice for the day scholars. What we would like to see happen for compensation is to be included in, in similar fashion that the settlement happened, but also to bring wellness to our communities, uh, to our respective communities, whether it's Seashell, Kamloops, or right across Canada. As an elder said, it's going to take seven generations to really recover from the, from the saddest chapter in the life of our people, which was the residential school era, because we're talking about having residential schools right in the middle of our communities. And when you um, have to live the reality of those effects on a day-to-day -day basis. All they want is wellness for our communities and for our people. So it may, it may take a while, but we're moving in the right direction. And hopefully one day it, um, we can stand up and say our people are totally healed. Now we are, we're seeking redress through the courts for the day scholars. We've given that commitment and we are going to we are going to go right to the end and we seek that justice for our day scholars. We even started a web page for people to get involved and it's called justiceforadayscholars.com and it'll be active before we leave Ottawa and head our way back home. Every nation that had a school in their community whether, and they had day scholars, they have an opportunity to opt in. We do have an opt-in model, that's why our information is getting out there more and more. While we're here in Ottawa, we're going to start meeting with some government leaders to get that message to them. I was appalled when I, read, when I asked our lawyers to read out a section of the apology from the Prime Minister and the lawyer stood up, that's not what the Prime Minister meant. Well, what did he mean? Reconciliation has to be more than just denial and has to be more than just words. Those actions have to become alive. That's one of the things that has to happen because these cycles of abuse that happened from the residential schools has gone on for far too long and we need to put an end to it so that our children will never have to suffer again.